decimal places. Okay. Uh, so like any correlation coefficient, uh, uh, the correlation coefficient can range between can range between uh, range between zero and one. Okay, so interpretation, interpretation. What we have here is that phi phi is equal to. We just scored phi equal to uh, minus zero point four seven. Okay, uh, and if if we look at that particular that particular correlation coefficient itself. Uh, and if we interpret, don't forget the correlation coefficient itself has to range between ranges between around uh, symmetric around zero ranges between plus one and minus one. Okay, and what we have is it's on the negative side, so it's 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 down around here. Okay, uh, it's I suppose what we have here is we have that this would represent a a a, a medium or a moderate correlation between the two variables. If the correlation, if phi is, let's say, bigger than 0 0.5, we'd say that there's a strong correlation. Uh, if phi is, let's say, let's say the absolute value okay, of phi. Okay? Uh, if it's bigger than, let's say, 0 0.2, we say that there's a medium, medium correlation or a moderate. Okay? Uh, and let's say if phi is let's say less than, so if it's bigger than 0 0.2, but not bigger than five, 0 0.5, and let's say if it's in the range, okay, if it's, let's say if it's less than, uh, is it, let's say greater than or equal to here, yeah, okay? Uh, if it's less than uh, 0 0.2, we say that there's a, a weak, there's a weak correlation or no correlation between uh, between the, the, two co the, 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 the two variables. So what we now know is this, is that there's a negative correlation between, between gender and degree, if that makes sense, yeah, okay? Uh, how do we interpret that, okay? Well, what that means is that, let's just keep in mind, we could probably put gender, gender along here, let's say zero and one for this is females, females and males, okay? And up along here, we could probably put whether you hold an honors degree, an honors degree, okay? Uh, and let's say zero and one for no and yes. So this is for no, and this is for yes. And basically what we have is we have a negative association between them, which is sort of indicating that there's some sort of negative line going down in between them. Okay? We want to just sort of visualize it like that, okay? Um, which is really saying to us this, yeah, is that what it's saying is this, is that females are generally associated with, with high values, yeah, okay, um, on, on the honors degree variable. Don't forget, it's dichotomous, so high values mean scores of one, so the whole degree is, whereas males are typically associated with, with low values uh, on the honors degree, which means that they don't hold degrees, okay. Alternatively, an alternative way to interpret it would be, Let's say if it was positive, this is a negative, negative phi, okay? Let's say if it was a positive phi, okay? So a positive phi, once again, we have, let's say zero, we have one females in this case and males, okay? And let's say up here we have honors degree. So yeah, whether you hold an honors degree or not, and let's say zero and one for, let's say no and yes, okay? And if it's positive, well, what does that mean? That means that the line, you know, I'm just using a line here. Don't forget, we're not, this isn't, this isn't, we're not really plotting lines, okay? But what it means is this, is that females are typically associated with low values, okay, on that scale, whereas males are typically associated with, with larger values on that scale. Okay? Don't forget, once again, these are dichotomous. So large values means ones, small values means zeros in this case, yeah? Which means females are typically associated with not holding an honors degree, where males are typically associated with holding an honors degree. Okay. So in our case here, the correlation coefficient was minus, okay, that's a negative one. So it's in this situation here, which means that females typically are scored in high on the dichotomous variable honors degree, whereas males are typically scored in low on it, okay? And the number here, uh, 0 0.47 would indicate the strength of association, which is between 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. So there's a medium to moderate association between these two variables. Uh, okay, guys, uh, once again, 
uh, this is Jonathan Lambert here with, uh, with Matt's, Matt's on Stats. Uh, and I hope that this particular video, which was another video in our series of videos dealing with non-parametric statistics, and in particular the phi coefficient, I hope that this was helpful for you. Uh, well, I hope it was intuitive, and more importantly, I do hope that was helpful. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.